So yeah, wow, here at Unicoi Gap, I feel safe already. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> You remember Unicoi Gap? We came out right over there where you see the green sign way in the distance. That's where the Appalachian Trail drops off at Unicoi Gap. We've come across and this is where we go. We start off with a big climb today. So let's hit the trail. This is the way we start our day, every day, every day. This is the way we start our day, climbing uphill on the trail. Every time I see a gap, I know I'm going to have to climb out. No, God, please, no, no! And you have to climb 5,000 steps before you even get to the official sign that says Unicoi Gap. Yes, guys, I know this is winter hiking. Gosh, you gotta be careful, look at this. If you're not watching every single freaking step, you're really gonna hurt yourself out here. You think it's a nice, beautiful, sunny day, which it is. It really is nice out. It's windy, but nice. But there's just these dangerous little pockets of ice everywhere around. You, you guys also may notice I'm wearing a different shoe. Instead of wearing my boots, I've got my Brooks Trail Runners on, uh, just to save a little bit of weight. I know my own skills, and I am too clumsy to try to come over from here to there. All right, guys. Oh. oh wait, maybe I'm not. Drum roll, please. Can I do this? Three, two, one. Yes, score. So what it would appear, the theme for today is going to be hidden frickin' frozen ice. Just saying. So here's this like 20 foot stretch in the trail going up ahead of me. That is solid ice. Over to the left is a little walkway they've put in without ice. Just because I'm a daring person, I'm gonna try the ice first. You know what? I don't have time for a trip to the emergency room today. Dry rocks, here we come. I've stopped for just a little bit of a break, mainly because this is such a beautiful little hidden stream. I'm so gonna let you guys enjoy the view for a minute. I'm gonna enjoy it for a minute, and then we'll get back on trail. I guess I should include a shot like some of my female Facebook friends do when they're at the beach. They always seem to get the most likes, so let's try this. Let's see how many likes that gets. I knew that there was going to be two large climbs today, actually, not just one, but two. I think I'm almost to the top of the first climb. All right, onto the top of the tra top of the mountain here. And sometimes we got a couple obstacles, dive in and do it. What goes up must come down, and we have a long descent, and then another big ass climb coming up another mountain. So that's what's in store for us the rest of the afternoon. Well guys, for the first time today, 
we actually have a section of flat trail here. Well guys, we are coming down into a gap. I assume this is Indian Gap, but we'll check for sure. Okay, yep. Indian Grave Gap. So we've made it about halfway on our trek today. Uh, back to Unicoi Gap is 2.7 miles from here. So this is about our halfway, maybe a little bit more than halfway point for the day. Well, this looks like Indian Gap, and the trail goes up over there, as you can see. I'm just going to take a look at this sign and see what it says here. Andrews Cove Trail, two, two miles to Andrews Cove Campground. So, a blue blaze trail, as you can see. <laughs> okay, enough of this. Off to the AT. Something we haven't talked about. Um, you may be wondering, well, gosh, Dan, the AT's right over there. Why didn't you just walk up that direction? For right now, um, tend to be very much a purist, and so I'm making sure that I don't miss a single step of the AT as best as I possibly can, even though that would have cut off 20 or 30 feet of trail. I went back and retraced my steps to where I entered to check out that sign and then came back down the trail. Is that OCD or is that just being an AT purist? All right, that was a gap, which means we climbed all the way down. And as you can already see, where there's a gap, you're gonna start gasping for breath because that means you're headed back up an incline. So here we go. We are headed uphill. <laughs> it's Georgia. It's the Appalachian Trail. There's a higher peak to climb. So of course, this is the Appalachian Trail. All right guys, we have reached the top of our second big climb for the day. So we are through the hardest part, just about another, eh, probably three tenths of a mile. <laughs> And we will be at Trey Gap. Yep, Trey Gap. So we have completed our hike for the day. And Ron from Ron's Appalachian Trail Shuttle should be up here ready to give me a lift. I have to get off trail today to deal with some business things for a couple days. Be in meetings, conference calls, all kinds of exciting things like that. Then we'll be back out here on the trail in the next couple, three, four days, whatever it takes. So guys, that's it. And we're gonna pick it back up here in a couple days.